My name is Riri Obaisi. I am the CEO of Reop Nigeria Limited and also the visionary for Reop Initiative. Reop Nigeria Limited is into the supplies of uh, renewable energy products and services, and then uh, we do, it's commonly called the inverter and the solar system. Uh, the Reop Initiative is it's an NGO, it's not a profit making organization. Uh, it's for us. The idea behind Reop Initiative is to provide renewable energy for people that cannot afford it, especially people in the rural areas. Reop Nigeria Limited started 2012. I used to be a banker though. And I pulled out of banking and decided to move back to Ondo State in Akure, where my parents lived. Uh, somewhere not the line, I stumbled on a local inverter and I thought to myself that inverters, if there is a local one, there should be an imported one. So I decided to use Google. Google was very helpful. So I Googled it and then um, I saw imported inverters. Uh, and then I messaged everybody. I sent an email to every company that I saw that had inverter systems as one of their products and services. Luckily enough, two companies replied me, one from the US and one from India, and that's how Reop started. Uh, Reop Initiative just started this year. Uh, we've been putting work into it on the ground for about a year now. We were launching fully this year. Reop Initiative is a big idea of Reop, but it's a different idea because it is, it is fully called um, rural electrification so it's, it's more like we are going into places that are off the grid people that cannot even afford it and using our resources our technical know-how to give them uh, power supply you see um, naturally i'm a driven individual and then uh, i have uh, i have the tendency to go for what i want so when i decided to you know jump on the renewable energy program uh, i thought to myself that it, it was the renewable energy deals directly with the future and we all understand the problem of uh, uh, global warming so you see renewable energy in a sense helps us to cut off the use of fossil fuel and then helps us to jump on the ones that are safer for the environment so at the same time as i was Thinking about the business aspect, I was also thinking about the future of human beings, you know. So basically, uh, my inspiration, I draw inspiration from a lot of things. I read a lot of business books, I have a lot of mentors. Uh, and then, uh, uh, I personally just encourage myself. You see, when, when I left the banking industry, even though I was in the bank for too long, I thought to myself that I had more to offer the world. So I basically just took off. Even as of the time I left the bank, I didn't know I was going to go into renewable energy. But I left the banking industry with the mindset that I had more to offer the world. And lo and behold, I think barely three months after I left the bank, renewable energy found me. You know, so uh, as regards my inspiration, there are a whole lot. Uh, the drive to make the world a better place is one of them. The opportunity to work on a large scale employ people is also one of them you see pro provision of jobs for for the unemployed is one of them uh, and i also believe that if we do our little bits in this one we'll preserve the world a little a little more and that's about it basically okay you see um it is really hard to convince people from using what they are already used to now most people think that i started this uh recently but i've been on this journey for about uh seven almost seven years now in april is going to be seven years basically so um we started exactly march 2012 and what i have done or what myself and whoever has worked with me has done is to use all we've got to push this message out we do mouth to mouth convincing we do internet marketing we do uh, social media marketing and then we we embodied the idea of renewable energy to the point where Whenever we see you or we have a conversation with you, in between one or two minutes, we're already talking renewable energy. So uh, we tried to make sure that we were living in it. We were using it ourselves. So sooner or later, people started to get convinced about the idea. And then the truth is, the idea is a great idea. We're selling you something that will not allow you the stress of 
putting on the generator would save you the stress of servicing the generator, would save you the stress of buying fuel, would save you the health hazard of smoke pollution, even noise pollution, for example. So you see, the advantages of renewable energy sometimes is enough to convince some individuals. Uh, well, some it is not enough for them. We go for that, we keep doing it and doing it. But over the years, we've been able to get a few number on our side and I'm sure you can attest to the fact that renewable energy is a growing industry right now. So it, if, if you want the future to be great, you rather jump on renewable energy. If you want more comfort, you jump on renewable energy. Every, in the developed countries right now, they are thriving on renewable energy. That's the, the major source. Most of them have given themselves time for between another 10 to 20 years to completely, or at least 70%, power their, uh, their, their countries with renewable energy. And I think Nigeria can, you know, can, uh, can also do this. You see, our initiative also has that vision because we believe that uh, Africa and this sub-Saharan part of the world has unlimited source of, 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 of sunlight, which is what the sol solar uses. So, if, if anybody in the world should be using solar systems, it should be, it should be African. So we are doing that in Reob Re Initiative. We're also doing, pushing that in Reob Nigeria Limited. And we're sure in a, a little while from now, we should get a, lo a lot of more people convinced about the vision and the drive. Okay, so um, as regards competition, I'm not completely bothered about competition. I try to uh, uh, outdo myself, you know. Um, uh, I believe that I have a strong work ethic and I, I thrive on you know my leverages. Uh, I try to use uh, people that I think that have influence in, in, in the industry you know to push myself. For example, I'm, I use social media a lot. Most people don't understand the power of social media in this generation. I use social media a lot and it has really helped. Uh, I've also put in some things in place. Uh, I make sure I stay afloat as regards information on renewable energy. I read deep, I Google things, I try to go for as many meetings as possible, as many conferences as possible, you know, I just learn basically. So what we do is we make sure we're innovating every now and then. For example, uh, I don't know if you heard when you came in, I was talking about an upgrade on the website. We just did a website maybe about a year ago, now we're already upgrading it. So we, we, I operate on the personal principle I call no week hours. So I, I, there is no time when I'm leaning back and cooling off, no. I'm always on to the next. You, do you drink NSC? Okay, you know the advert, it says never settle. Yeah, I never settle basically. That's, that's how I stay afloat. So basically, um, I think this is majorly dependent on my kind of person. Uh, even when I was a banker, I did not study banking. I finished from Covenant University, I studied microbiology. So it wasn't like uh, I had an idea of banking, it wasn't like I had an idea of renewable energy. But the thing about me is when I like something, when it appeals to me, I go learn about it. For example, I had to take a couple of short courses on renewable energy. I had to, you know, employ people that had that knowledge and learned on the job. Yeah, so I, I used my money to gain knowledge. Yeah, so it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't a one month thing, it wasn't a one year thing, it wasn't a three year thing. I'm still learning in fact. So you see, that leverage of learning fast on whatever interests me is what has kept me, you know. So it wasn't like uh, I studied electrical engineering and did two masters in the US and did one PhD now. It, it didn't work like that for me. I just have the drive, yes, and I have the vision. So when you have those two things and your work ethic is sound, I don't think there's anything you can achieve. You see, the funny thing about achieving a goal or running with a vision, it is, this, it is not about you. You have to find people that, you know, have that quality and bring them on your team. For example, I'm a good manager. I, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not too much of, uh, you know, people have their job descriptions. So in my own job description is to gather these people that, you know, and then manage them and make us produce results. My own is to produce end results, you know. So that's about it, basically. Okay, so like I said earlier, um, Reob Initiative, is uh, targeting off-grid areas. 
are rural areas. We don't want people that can afford it. People that can afford it can go ahead and buy from us. But those that cannot afford it, that we are sure we're going to do. We're going to do a kind of survey, you know, to pick those areas. And then when we find those areas, we would give them those services at no cost to them. But we are going to put up maintenance, uh, some maintenance services or some maintenance scheme so that they don't destroy it. You know, you say all those things are in place. But the idea is to make sure that those people have power supply for the basics. Now you see, renewable energy is such that a lot of people can use it for anything. Most people don't know that there are solar inverters that power ACs. There are some that even power industries. For example, we have from 1 kV to 300 kV. People don't know that we have that kind of capacity. We, we, we've done 100 kV before, we've done 20 kV before. But we are looking for something that will give these people just light and fun or lights, fan, and maybe their radios or their TVs. It's just the basic stuff. It's not for their luxury. We just believe that if there is power supply, some of them will be able to either, you know, read at night or probably do their own works, or probably, you know, feel safer when they're sleeping or probably, you know, a lot of advantages to having power supply, you know. So Real Initiative is that vision that will bring that, uh, that whole idea to life. For the initiatives, for the ones that we have done, for the ones we have done, we pick them ram randomly. But in the nearest future, we are not doing that. We are going to do a complete survey of the whole Nigeria. Highlight or shortlist the people that need it. Talk to the people that we think can offer um, some form of, uh, uh, what do you call it, collaboration with us, some form of funding, some form of, uh, I don't know, whatever we call it and then tell them that these are the areas that we have available and this is what we think we should do you know but the thing is the truth is we are going to do it for the people that need it the most first so let's say on the scale of one to ten we have people uh, we have people that that have maybe power supply for two hours some six hours in a week some not at all we will choose the people that have not at all so it's it's that's the way it is for us we, we that's the idea that is the plan that is the plan so but for now we are choosing randomly if you come to us and tell us there is a place where you think they really need power supply we send our team there they check it out they see that oh these people really need power supply we start to you know gather our resources it might take us months that and then we'll go in stuff for them. But in the nearest future, when we officially launch the Real Initiative, we will have shortlisted all the possible areas that need these services, and then little by little we'll cover them. So for Real Initiative, the major challenge is funding. Uh, the equipment, uh, the uh, services are not really cheap. They're not really affordable. It's not bread, you know. So it's something that you need to, you know, you need to really have money to do. So the major challenge for real initiative is funding. If I, if we get good funding, we can we can cover the whole of we can cover the whole of Africa in months, you know. So it's just strictly funding. But for real initiative, it's a little deeper because that is a business. You there are a couple of challenges, you know employee kind of challenges, uh, maintenance, culture, uh, trainings, a, a couple of things, you know, funding also, because you see, for you to not, uh, for you not to compromise on standards, you have to, be, you know, you have to have good funding. For example, Reop is bringing in the, our, our new batteries, which, which we think will supersede any battery in town for now. But you see, that, that has been a difficult thing for us. We have been stalling on it because we found out that for you to get those top quality batteries, you really need to pay from your nose. Payments for the type of goods, then cost on in, of shipping and cost of clearing is a lot. So that is a major challenge for us. But we do not want to compromise. So instead of us rushing and bringing in batteries for the whole world to buy, we're taking our time. So by the time you see real batteries, you can beat your chest, and we can beat our chest and say, oh, we know this is a good product. So it, it, for us, uh, our major challenge is, like is, is, is funding, you know. But we are doing our best. 
the business is really growing at a fast pace. Uh, we moved fully to Lagos not quite one year and we've covered a lot of grounds. You know, we, in last year alone we, we installed almost 200 inverters. So that, that is good for us, you know, that is really good for us. So uh, we believe as time goes on. So we'll do, yeah. The future of Real Nigeria Limited is the, is the future of the world. The future of Real Nigeria Limited is Real Initiative also. We have a lot of futures. Now, we believe that this technology called uh, the renewable energy technology is going to keep innovating itself because you see the white people are not sleeping. So we believe that we have to position ourselves in such a way that as the change occurs, we change with the change. So we believe that, well, we've done our best to, you know, maintain this for, this is the seventh year running. We believe that we'll keep doing it. You see, the, the future of renewable energy is the future of the world. For now, they are still preaching it. Sooner or later, they will make it compulsory for the whole world to jump on it. Because it's either we jump on renewable energy or our planet crumbles. If you stay with the news properly, you would have seen what global warming is already doing. It will cause a lot of, of uh, flooding, it will cause a lot of uh, emissions, it will cause a lot of waves. You see, I, I picked up a course uh, 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 with the UN on, on that aspect. And when I was going through the models that they made us read, I realized that even here in Nigeria, we don't even understand what is going on over there. Once we cannot tackle the global warming with renewable energy, nothing else can work. We have to protect the ozone layer, we have to make sure that we are not you know, emitting uh, ca carbon monoxide, basically. So I, I think that the future of renewable energy is also the future of Reob. As long as renewable energy is in existence, Reob stays in existence. At Reob, we our watchword is live better with renewable energy. Now, for real initiative, there's also our, um, our motto. It is, we believe that clean, affordable energy can be provided in Africa. Clean, affordable energy for Africa is possible. Clean, affordable energy for Africa is possible. That is what we live by at Real Initiative. Real Nigeria Limited, we live by live better with renewable energy. We believe that with renewable energy, your quality of living, your quality of comfort is increased. So my name is Rere Obaisi. I am the CEO of Real Nigeria Limited and the visionary for Real Initiative.